Hey everybody, this is Doug with Hissy Fit Reptiles. Uh, this here is the clutch of pastel clown to pastel hat clown eggs. Uh, as you saw in the last video, I wasn't too excited because I thought that for sure it's going to have a couple slugs in there um, or infertile eggs. And I just wanted to show you here on a candlelight video what exactly I'm looking at and possibilities for uh, when everything's ready to go and they're ready to hatch so uh, here's the one I kinda figured was gonna be fertile and as you can see nice and fertile veins then that one I kinda thought well that one might might uh, have something so as you can see there nice and fertile with veins then there was this one and that one and I thought man those things are I mean about half the egg is slug or boob type egg so um, I thought they weren't going to be fertile but as you can see from the candling a lot of veins in there nice and fertile and even that one right here veins nice and fertile so actually I ended up with four fertile eggs from the pastel hat clown that was bred at the pastel clown. So my possibilities on this could be killer clowns, which is a super pastel clown, pastel clowns, clowns, super pastel hat clowns, pastel hat clowns, and normal hat clowns. Uh, if anything is not visual clown, it will for sure be 100% hat clown because the father of the clutch was a visual clown, pastel clown to be exact. So, and it's a uh, it should be some reduced pattern. The pattern should be somewhat reduced in there. Um, the father's got a reduced pattern, but it's got spots kind of, and then the 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 pastel hat clown comes from a reduced pattern line from BHB. So, so excited about this. Uh, these eggs were laid on September sixteenth, so uh, should be. Uh, first week or two of November uh, should be when these guys are coming out of the eggs and I'm uh, pretty excited about well, this is my uh, most anticipated clutch so hopefully these two eggs don't go bad uh, they were both rollouts um, on the uh, well, at least one of them was a rollout from the clutch so hopefully uh, they'll both stay fertile throughout the entire process and not go bad that one should definitely be good. That one should be good. Uh, these two I'll keep an eye on. Uh, again, as you can see here, kind of got like a boob type egg on each one of them. So, an interesting clutch. I still have uh, my fire that should be going for me yet, and then my Mojave, which I uh, thought she would have been laying already, but I might have. I didn't see an ovulation from her yet, but she shed a little over 30 days ago, so I thought that was a pre-lay shed, but I might have missed it. But I could still feel three good-sized eggs in her. So, um, again, I hadn't seen her ovulate, so I might have missed it during the move. Uh, we are completely moved into our new place, so I'll be doing a complete update on the, the room. Once I get everything cleaned up and organized, I have a lot of uh, stuff down here. It takes up the whole basement, so... Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, be sure to follow on Facebook and Twitter, uh, as well as uh, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already. And um, hope everybody else is having a good season, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.